IG Live, I'm going to give you a shopping guide uh, for Fab Sewing as well as Overlock and Cover Stitch Machine. Now, a lot of you during the pandemic pulled out your sewing machines and started sewing, whether it be masks or garments or quilts or pillows or home deck, um, and it wasn't working like it used to. Um, or the holidays are coming up and you wanna make an upgrade, um, especially make an investment because well, most of us are gonna be working from home for the next year um, or so. So I work with a local sewing dealer to help customers and students purchase sewing machines. And when they come to me, they just have so many questions. This is my budget. I normally sew this. I want something for lingerie. I want something for lingerie and clothing. Um, I only sew bags. So I want to break all of the machines down for you. Now, I only, I work with a sewing machine dealer and sell only, um, I don't sell them, the sewing machine dealer does. Um, offer new machines. So one of the questions that I got before I posted this or went to the IG Live, I asked for questions. And one of the questions was, um, do you sell resale machines? One, I don't sell them. Um, I work with a local sewing dealer. But two, uh, I believe he doesn't sell resale sewing machines. So it's mostly just new. So I'm gonna be covering uh, new machines. Um, I do have one older uh, machine in stock here at the studio. Um, and I know there are a bunch of older FAF machines um, from like the 90s or all metal machines or just older models that you might be wondering about. I'm only gonna go over the ones that I use regularly here at the studio because in order for me to talk to it and give my recommendations and my suggestions, um, I don't feel comfortable just suggesting a machine that I really haven't used. Um, so for any machines that I didn't cover today, or if you have any questions that I didn't cover, um, patternreview.com is an excellent source. So if you, even if you see the passport here, like, oh, I want to go do more research on that, um, check out patternreview.com. Uh, they have awesome forums where people will hop on and, and say like, hey, I'm interested in getting a Passport 3.0. Uh, who has used it? And they'll say, I've used it this, I love this feature, it's great with this. So it's really helpful. Um, so another one is called, I think it's called like Quilting Guide or qu something quilting. I wrote a blog post with everything that I'm gonna say here and it has it in there. She does awesome video tutorial reviews of machines that have been really helpful as I learn a new machine when I get it here in the studio. Um, and what's great about having sewing machines here in the studio is that if someone's interested in a sewing machine, they can come to an open sew and they can try out different machines and actually sew a garment rather than at a dealer where you only have swatches. Um, so before I get into um, the particular machines, I want to tell you why I chose FAF over other brands because that was one of the questions that I got. Um, two, I mean there are many big main reasons, but two main reasons are um, they are so smooth. So the number one comment I get when somebody gets on a FAP sewing machine or an overlock machine or a cover stitch machine is, oh my God, these machines are so smooth. So a lot of the other brands, you know, it's, they're, they're really heavy to sew as far as like if they shake the table or they're just loud. Um, so the fact machines are really, really, really smooth um, and a lot quieter than the other brands. And I have been ambassadors for other brands of sewing machines and I actually went back to FAF um, and said, hey, can I represent your machines because I love them so much. Uh, the other thing that is like a game changer when it comes to FAF is their IDT system. So on the back of these machines, I have it in the blog post, um, but on the back of the presser foot is a little black knob that you can engage and disengage. Now on all the other models, um, not models, all, on all the other brands, you have to purchase a walking foot um, to help with evenly feeding the fabric. So you might 
be thinking, what are you talking about? So let me put it this way. You have two layers of fabric that go under the presser foot. And a lot of times, um, the one layer will go faster than the other, um, will go in. And that's why you pin to make sure the layers are um, line up correctly, but they don't always. Uh, so what you have is a walking foot. So what a walking foot is, is that it helps uh, ha so, so that both layers feed into the uh, machine at an even pace. Now on other models, you have to buy a walking foot separately. In fact machines, it's built in, which I sew mostly lingerie, um, pretty, yeah, like 99.9% .9 lingerie. So that is a game changer because a lot of the fabrics that I work with are slippery, sheer. Um, so it is amazing. Um, so those are the two reasons why I choose FAF over other brands. Um, that was one of the questions that I got uh, before this IG Live. Um, so let's go to the basic machine, this guy right here, the FAF Passport 3.0. Um, and for this, I just, I always like to say at the beginning, my lessons, classes, my goal for this IG Live, or for this video tutorial, is I'm gonna give highlights of each one. And I want you, if you are in the market for a sewing machine, I want you to, you know, see all these machines, and be like, I think that's the one that I want. And then in the blog post, I'm gonna give you other resources. Check out the full specs here, check out this blog post, check out that blog post. But just because of time, I can't go into like, doing a stitching a swatch on every single um, machine. So I'm gonna give you overviews, and then if you see something you like, check out the blog post and get more information on that model. So the first model that I suggest hands down is the Passport 2.0 or 3.0. And you might be thinking, what's the difference between the 2.0 and 3.0? So very minimal. Um, the 2.0 has a black face and the 3.0 has a white face. Also the 3.0 has, um, I think it's like 30 more decorative stitches uh, than the Passport 2.0. But I know that the Passport 3.0 is a lot easier to get than the Passport 2.0. Um, so I highly recommend the 3.0 over the 2.0. Also, in my experience, the 3.0 has a little bit better tension than the 2.0. Um, so this is a solid, reliable, affordable machine. It's $7.99, which I, one of the questions that I got um, before this IG Live was, are there any FAF sewing machines under $500? Not to my knowledge, not any new machines. I know you can find some um, resale uh, second-hand machines for under 500 I do I did have a student who found a passport 2.0 on eBay or Etsy um, for like $300 which I don't recommend um, I do recommend with any purchase that you do uh, you go f try to find a local sewing dealer um, one you're supporting a small business and two if anything goes wrong they can help you and even if you don't have a local sewing dealer near you, um, reach out to the closest one to you because a lot of them, especially during the pandemic, have turned a lot of stuff virtual. So you can purchase a machine from them. Um, if you have any questions, they can do virtual sessions with you. Um, so I would just recommend buying from a dealer. Um, but this one is awesome. Um, so there are no FAF models new under $500. And I get this question a lot is I don't have the money right now to spend $700 or $800 on the machine. I get it, uh, but I would rather you save your money for two to three months than buy a machine that's $300 you got on Amazon or Target or another brand because most of the people that come to me wanting a new machine have those $300 machines and they don't work well, so now they're spending an extra $800 on a machine. So instead of spending $300 you can afford right now, and then you're gonna spend $800 later, just save up for a little bit and spend $800 um, in two to three months. You won't regret it. So in the end, you'll be saving like $300. Um, I love this machine because it is everything that you need and nothing more. When it comes to lingerie, I use 
three, basically three stitches. I don't need 300 stitches. I don't need the embroidery. I don't need all that other stuff. I need good tension, which just has the best tension of a lower price machine. Um, and I need the straight, the zigzag, and maybe the triple zigzag stitch. Um, other great things about this machine, it's very lightweight. So it's only like 14 pounds and it can fit. I know we're not doing a lot of traveling lately, but it can fit in the overhead compartment of um, an airplane. Ask me how I know, because I put one in there. Um, so it's a great travel machine. Also, if you're limited on space, so some of the other machines that I'm gonna go over, they're big. So if you don't have a dedicated sewing space, you know, you use the, the dining room table, you want a smaller machine because that gives you more, mach more room to like cut out and store your supplies. So this is awesome. Um, yeah, that's, that's everything about the passport I think that I uh, wanted to cover. Yeah. Um, the next one that I want to cover is the Ambition. Now this is the Ambition Essential, which is an older model, but the Ambition is a line of FAF machines and there are three um, current models. The 610, I think like the 620 and the 630. Um, and the 610 is $799 and I recommend that it is the best machine for that price point. So I think this one's great for lingerie because it's small, you don't need a lot of space to sew lingerie. If you're in the market for a bra, if you, if you sew bras and garments, the Ambition might be better for you because it has a bigger working area for your projects. Um, and it's from, from reviews that I've read and from people who have purchased from me, this handles different fabrics a little bit better. Um, I had a uh, customer who was going in between these two and she picked this one, the Ambition 610, because again, it had a little, a, a bigger working area um, and it, it handled thicker fabrics better. So this one, all lingerie that I suggest, of course it will do other garments as well. I have so many things on this, but if you do a lot of garment sewing and then a little bit of lingerie, you might want to consider this one. They're both the same, pretty much the same price. Another question that I got before posting this was, are any dealers, or, or is FAF having a Black Friday sale? So it's usually not FAF that's doing the Black Friday sales, it's the dealers. Um, so you have to check with your dealer, not FAF, uh, if they're doing any Black Friday sales. Um, so those are the two uh, uh, machines that I recommend. Now I'm going to go over cover stitch and um, overlock machines first, and then I'm gonna bring to the performance icon and the creative icon because they're like way too big to put on here and to carry over, they're pretty heavy. Um, so I thought it'd be easier to just move my camera over there rather than bringing them here. Um, so, overlock and cover stitch machine. My cover stitch machine is actually in the shop, just getting a tune up. I haven't gotten it tuned up in like a year or so. Um, but the overlock machine, they're in Meyer Air 5000. So a lot of people, sewists, uh, shy away from surging because threading a serger is no bueno. Uh, you take one look at threading it and you're like, uh-uh, I'm gonna bind every single seam. Um, so threading it is very intimidating, and but game changer. Just like the IDT was a game changer, a game changer with um, sergers is air threading. So I have a video, it's in the blog post, believe me, the blog post is all set up and it's like set to draft. Um, in the blog post, I link to a video that demonstrates how to thread an air threader. Basically what you do is you put the threads in these little tubes, you pull a lever and it threads the whole thing for you, which is like amazing. It's like mind blowing. Um, so that's what's great about uh, the Admire Air is that take that intimidation out and you use, you can use overlock machines pretty much to sew an entire t-shirt. So it is a great investment. So if you're looking for an overlock machine, um, I, I, I recommend the Admire Air 5000. Now the Coverlock 4.0 is their cover stitch and overlock machine. 
the one thing that like I always hear from pretty much every sewist is I hate switching in between an overlock machine and a cover stitch machine. I get you, I'm in that boat too. I use the Admire Air for surging and then I have the Coverlock 4.0 for cover stitch. Um, so the Coverlock 4.0, if you're more into like active wear, sewing your own workout clothes, leggings and stuff like that, Coverlock 4.0 is awesome. What the key, what I love about it the most is that it will set your tension for you depending on the type of fabric that you're using, which is amazing. Um, so the Admire Air and the Coverlock 4.0, all the information is in the blog post. Okay, so I went over the basic machine. Um, I went over the ambition, which is like one step up. I'm gonna go over to the performance icon and then the creative icon. Now, when I was going through this, um, I was thinking like, this is $7.99, this is $7.99 as well. And the performance icon is $9,000. And then the creative icon is, I think like $16,000. And I didn't, I didn't give anything in between. And the only reason why I didn't, and I could have fudged and done my research and found like a middle ground machine and like stuck it in there, but I haven't sewn on it. Um, and again, I really want to suggest machines to you that I've sewn on, that I know, that my students use. Okay, so first up is the performance icon, um, the fab performance icon. Now, the first thing that I tell people when, if they're interested in this machine is its size. It is much bigger than the other machines. So make sure, I just say like, do you have a, a dedicated sewing space? Like you're not sewing on your dining room table um, because this is big, it's really heavy, easy to move. Um, the other ones I can pick up up and down, no problem. But this one is pretty much stationary. Um, the performance icon and the creative icon, what is amazing about it, one, it has, um, the creative icon has the largest touch screen here. Um, basically, you can see here, you can go to start sewing, load from my Sonet. Um, and what's great about these both these machines is they have uh, user guidelines, um, manuals, like troubleshooting inside the machine, which can become really helpful if you have a question. You can just pretty much ask the machine. Um, I, when I was doing research on this, just like for like more facts on this machine, one comment that I got was like, somebody didn't like that they, the stitches weren't on the top of the screen here. A lot of times you have like a cheat sheet on your cover, um, girlfriend, or whoever it was, they're all right here. Um, so as you're sewing, you can see all of your stitches right here. What I love most about this machine, well, I can't say most, but one of the great features about this machine is the large working area. So not only is the area from the needle to um, this part bigger, but it's also higher. So you can fit, it's like a lot of working room here, which does become really helpful if you're sewing quilts, if you're sewing, you know, big skirts, uh, bigger projects, um, and the light. I, my eyes are kind of like going and I'm like, Maddie, you need to get to the eye doctor. Um, but save it for next week. Um, but this light here is awesome, which I know a lot of people do um, late night sewing, early morning sewing, that light you can see stitches like no other. Um, now that's mostly like cosmetic and like other like not really important. If you're spending $10,000 on the machine, you wanna make sure that it actually works. Let me tell you, this tension on this, the stitching on this is impeccable. You get what you pay for. Um, so this is an awesome machine. Actually, when I'm doing, when I'm sewing wholesale orders, um, a lot of people ask, I, I sell um, Madeline Intimates to a lot of boutiques, and well, not a lot, five boutiques, um, and direct as well. And people ask me, why don't you do uh, industrial machines? And I tell them, if I have an industrial machine, I need a couple of stitches. So industrial machines are um, usually single operation. So to have to have a machine for um, single stitch, for zigzag stitch, for overlock, for bar tech, for da da da. So the amount of money that you would buy on each machine and plus you'd have to have a huge studio to have all of those industrial machines you're getting all of that here so if you own your own business if you own your like if you have a small business and you're looking for a really 
awesome machine that you could use for like selling items, heavy duty sewing and stuff like that. You might want to consider this um, because it has all of the machine or all of like the features um, and it's just an amazing machine. Um, so that's the performance icon. Um, now let's switch to the creative icon. So think of like the performance icon one step below the creative icon. The creative icon is the mama machine. It is like the top of the line, the best. Um, so let's switch over to that. This is the mama machine, the best of the best. Um, it doesn't get any better than this one. Uh, just like the performance icon, it has a huge sewing area, not only from the needle to the actual machine, um, but also the height here. It has a touch screen, um, and this one has the embroidery feature. So you can remove this, put on the embroidery unit, and do some awesome embroidery. Um, it has the largest touch screen, and you can actually, so whenever I do the embroidery projects on this machine, I create the embroidery design on my home computer. I send it to the machine. I hook up all the embroidery um, uh, unit, set up the, put it in embroidery mode, and then I actually load the design from um, my computer, which is awesome. Um, so if you're looking for like a forever machine, if you're looking for like the top of line, all the bells and whistles, definitely go with your creative icon. I have been amazed um, by the quality. Uh, FAF has always been known for its quality, but I've been like just blown out of this world by the quality of garments that come from this machine. And it's really intuitive too. You would think that like the top of line machine would be really complicated, but it's actually really user friendly. Um, and, and again, it has all of those helpful guides in uh, the the machine. So if you have any questions, you can just be like, hey, I can just ask it. Almost like Siri. Um, so that's my roundup. Again, I wanted to give you an overview of all of these machines. There's going to be a blog post. Um, I recorded this video, um, so it'll be on there as well. Um, and so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, but I want you to do your homework. If you saw any machine here, you're like, oh, I think that's for me. Go back, do your homework, look at, look at those machines more, check out patternreview.com. Um, and then I'm always here to help too. You can email hello at madeline.com.